Hi, teddy bears. Today for craft, we are going to talk about another animal that God created. It is an animal that hops. It is an animal that eats flies. It is an animal that comes out at night. And sometimes they're either smooth and slimy, or sometimes they have bumps all over them. Can you guess what they are? It is a frog or a toad. Today we're gonna to talk about frogs and toads. And I'm gonna start us off by singing a song. Now I have some little friends right here and they're sitting on the log. And this is also gonna be a craft or an activity that you can do at home if you decide to do so. So we are gonna sing four green and speckled frogs because that's how many I have. So first we're gonna count one, two, three, four. Okay, are you ready? Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum, rub your tummy. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one, two, three, three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. They're all gone. We have zero speckled frogs. Good job, friends. Okay, so I'm gonna put my froggies back inside their log. And we'll talk about this in just a little bit. And this is something fun that you guys can do at home if you choose to do so. So we are going to read a story about frogs. This is the front of our book. And you can see the frogs. And this is the back, and look at that frog. He is sitting on a lily pad. That's what that is, that's a lily pad. And the title of our book is Frogs. Okay. Kerplunk. Something splashes into the pond. It is a frog. It has strong back legs and it has webbed feet. It swims. Look at that frog swimming in the water. Have you ever seen a frog before? Have you ever seen a toad before? Have you ever caught one and held it in your hands? They're so much fun. Frogs feel at home in the pond. Look, do you see them? There they are sitting on this again. Do you remember what that's called? It's a lily pad. Why do they feel comfortable in the water? Well, because they begin life in the water. That's where they start. They start as tiny little frog eggs. In the spring, a mother frog lays lots and lots of eggs. So you may have gone on walks lately and you may have seen baby frogs inside of a puddle or maybe in a creek or even in a ditch. You may have seen baby frogs and baby frogs are called tadpoles. So we're gonna learn more about them. Okay, so here we are. The eggs hatch. There they are, they're little baby egg, frog eggs. And frog babies swim out. They look like tiny fish. They swim like fish. They even breathe underwater like fish. There they are, they're in the water. <gasps> now look at them. They're changing, aren't they? But now, but they are not fish, are they? They are tadpoles. Can you say tadpoles? Tadpoles, this is a tadpole, which is a baby frog. They will grow up to be frogs. What does a frog say? Ribbit, ribbit. Guess what? 
Soon the tadpoles change. They get bigger. So here he is, and then look at this one. How does this one look different? How does this tadpole look different than this tadpole? <gasps> he has legs, look at that. They grow back legs and front legs. Look, here he is, he's changing again. Little by little, their tails begin to shrink. So he has a big tail and then it starts to get smaller. And then it disappears, which means it's gone. They no longer have a tail, it disappears. Something also changes inside them. Now the baby frogs can breathe out of water, just like we do. So they can come out of the water and breathe. They can jump in the grass, they can jump on the driveway, they can breathe outside of water. The frogs hop on to a log. They are now land animals. They still can swim, but they are not water animals anymore. So they don't live underwater anymore. Animals that change this way are called amphibians. You say it like this, amphibians. Are frogs the only amphibians? No, they're not. Guess who this guy is? This is a toad, and we have found so many toads at my house. They're on my driveway. They are in my front yard. They're in my backyard. They are everywhere, toads everywhere. Okay, so let's learn a little bit about a toad, how they're different than a frog, because this one's a frog, and this one is a toad. Frog, toad. They look different, don't they? Okay, so let's read about the toad. Toads are amphibians too. Toads usually have bumpy skin and shorter legs than frogs. So normally when you catch a, a toad and you pick him up, he's bumpy. The back of his little back is bumpy and he has smaller little legs than a frog. There are about 4,000 kinds of frogs. They live all over the world. Most frogs are the size of your hand. Look at this little boy. He caught a frog. So most frogs are the size of your hand. But the biggest frog, look at this frog. He's huge. The biggest frog is called the Goliath frog, like the giant. This picture is about the same size as the real frog. Could you imagine? This frog is almost as big as Miss Natalie's head. He is Huge. Could you imagine finding this frog in your front yard? <gasps> that would be so silly. Miss Natalie really likes this kind of frog. This frog is called a tree frog. Tree fro frogs are so tiny they can stand on your fingertip. Can you guess where tree frogs live? Where do you think a tree frog lives? In a tree! That's right, in trees, their sticky toes help them hold on really tight. So their little toes are like suction cups and they can hold on to the trees, they can hold on to windows. I've had lots of tree frogs on our windows and they catch bugs. Look what he's doing with his tongue. He is catching a fly. Sometimes at night, you can hear tree frogs croak. Lots of frogs croak. They croak to find a friend. Look, she's listening. Snakes like to eat frogs, but this frog is safe right here. Do you see him? He's hiding. And here's the snake and he's coming to look for some dinner. The snake cannot see him because he looks like a pile of leaves. This frog is camouflaged and the snake can't see him and soon the snake goes away. But most frogs and dangers do the same thing. They hop away, kerplunk. 
So if a frog is ever worried that they're in danger or that someone's going to get them, they jump and hop away. Can you hop like a frog? Can you hop? Can you ribbit like a frog? Ribbit. Okay, so for today for our craft, I have several little activities that you can do. So the first thing I did was I got a old container. This is like a takeout box that we had. And I have the lid and I made a frog face. I cut a slit for his mouth. It's a plastic little top. And then I hot glued just a piece of paper. I traced it and put it on top and I added some googly eyes. So he has a face and there's his mouth. Now, when I put my lid on, I have a frog and this frog, you can feed him. So in our story, we talked about briefly about what frogs eat. Do you remember what frogs eat? They eat bugs. They like to eat kinds of bugs. So I got some cotton balls and you can get some cotton balls or you could get anything that you want to use to feed your frog. And I put a little black spot on my cotton ball to pretend that it is a fly. So my fly is gonna go bzzz, whoop, one fly, and then here's another one. Bzzz, whoop, in his mouth, two flies. Bzzz, three. Bzzz, four. And you can feed him as many flies as you want to. But Miss Natalie was counting my flies as I put them inside Mr. Froggy's mouth or Mr. Toady. Rowan loves toads, so he has counted lots of toads lately, and he's caught a to toad every single night, and he names them all Toady. Okay, so another craft, so I showed you guys this earlier. I will send you, your mommies and daddies, a printout of these frogs. These are frogs, or you can make them a toad if you want, and there are four on the piece of paper. You can color them however you want. You can make them green, you can make them brown, you can make them rainbow, whatever color you decide. And then what I did was I put two pieces of paper or a piece of paper on the back of my one piece of paper that I colored just to give it a little bit more of a sturdier feel like cardstock. And we glue a popsicle stick on the back. Now you could use a straw, you could use a popsicle stick, you could use um, even another piece of construction paper. And then, if you have a paper towel roll that's empty, or this is a piece of cardboard that I just kind of rolled up and glued, cut little slits in the top, and then you can have your own log for your speckled frogs, and you could sing your song too. Okay, also with this, we talked about lily pads. Now, there was a lily pad in our book and a lily pad is a plant that grows in the water, and the frogs like to sit on them. So Miss Natalie has a lily pad that I cut out, and I put the number one on this lily pad. And then I have another one, and it's the number two. And then I have the number three, four, five, six and you can play a game with this so miss natalie oh my cat just jumped in the window when she fell did you see that okay so there's the number one and you would start with your froggy and you would hop on the number one and you could even roll dice and count it or you could just do it however you wanted to do it and hop and play leapfrog and jump one then jump two what comes after one two and then he would jump to number what comes after two three until he jumped on all the lily pads and he made it to the water and he's safe in the water swimming in the water so you could play a game using your lily pads and you could even pretend to be a frog and you could get down in your leapfrog leapfrog position and you could jump to the one jump to the two jump to the three and pretend to be a toad or a frog. Okay, now our last activity that I have for you guys is a picture of a frog, a construction frog or a toad. And for this guy, you're gonna get to use your hands. So what you're gonna do is, you're going to trace your hand on a piece of paper. 
and you're gonna cut it out for his legs. You have a circle and you make a circle for his face and then we added his eyes, his nose, and a smile for his mouth. And also, what is he sitting on? Do you see it? He's sitting on a lily pad. And you can make the lily pad and put him on there. And then you could take your fingers or paint or marker and you could put water on your paper for your frog because they like to sit in the water and swim when they grow up. Okay, so that was it for our frogs today. Hopefully, Miss Natalie's gonna try and show you a video of a frog and a, t a toad that I caught in our backyard. And if I can't post it to this video, then I'll post it separately and you can click on that and watch it. And it'll just be a short, like one minute video. Um, next week we are doing camp out. So Miss Natalie is going to be in a tent the next time I see you. So I hope to see you guys there. I hope you're having a great day. I love you teddy bears. I'll see you next time. Bye.